You want to believe that Jason and I are really over, but I know better. I was about to get through to him last night when you showed up at the penthouse. I heard everything he said to you. He loves you. I know that he loves you. There's no question about that. But his life has changed, and it's not safe for you. You never thought my life with Jason was ever, ever safe. No, I didn't. But it's gotten worse. I used to think that I was unlucky. That nothing good could ever last for me until I met Jason. He makes me happy. He loves me. He accepts me for who I am. I don't care about the danger. I have been taking risks my entire life. Is Jason worth losing your life over? That's not going to happen. It almost did. You're an intelligent woman. You are beautiful. You're articulate. You can have anything in this world that you choose. Surely you must want more out of life than waiting inside Jason's penthouse to see is that which how, one of you gets shot first. how you picture my life with Jason? You don't have to live through him or for him. I just want you to live for yourself, that's all. And then what? I can be a daughter you could be proud of. I mean, should that be my goal, an independent career woman like you? I'm sorry, Alexis. I'm 26. I am way too old for you to mold into your image. I love Jason, I am proud of the life I have with him, and I'm getting it back. I'm sorry, I don't think that I'm helping. Sorry. I hope you and your family enjoy your new home. I just want you to know, if you ever want to, you have a place to stay. Thank you, but I'm... I'm gonna go to my home with Jason. When I'm ready for you to be gone, I'm not gonna need your son as an excuse. What is it? The soup? more than a wardrobe to run an organization. Must be nice to get out of that cheap leather jacket and into some real Italian silk. To be off Sonny's leash after all these years. I suggest you enjoy it while you can. Did you get all that? No, not even close. Could you speak up next time, please? That used to make you smile. Maybe even a little. Things have changed. Sorry about that. Oh, these are gonna have to be redone. <laughs> Sorry. Elizabeth. Hey. How's Sam? She's finally going to sleep. How's work going? He's going back to work. Isn't that what you want? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't I didn't tell him that you're the one who paid for his rehab and all of our expenses for the next six months. I let him believe that it was Nicholas. You know, like I said before, you helped save Sam's life with the surgery. I'm just trying to pay it back. I know, but he's not going to see it like that. He's still upset that you're the one who saved me from Manny. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't mean to cause more problems. I was just... No, no, don't. About. Please, don't apologize. Lucky and I are just, just not connecting right now. But as soon as he starts feeling better, I'll, I'll get my husband back. But I'm happy for you. Thank you. Now let me be happy for you. Please go in there, and when Sam wakes up, tell her that you love her and that you're wrong. Do you want to spend the rest of your lives together? Must have been hell for you to send Sam back to the hospital last night. How's she doing? She picked up a slight fever after sneaking out to find you. But all in all, she's making progress and she'll be able to go home soon. Will you keep me informed on her condition? Yeah. Why not ask me yourself? 